welcome to math world today we will learn about formation of large numbers look at the table in the first column it is written greatest number the greatest one digit number is 9 the greatest two digit number is 99 greatest three digit number is 999 then what is the greatest four digit number greatest one digit number has 19 greatest two digit number has two nines greatest three digit number has three nines so greatest four digit number has four nines One, two, three, four. The greatest five-digit number is nine, followed by another four nines. Greatest six-digit number is nine, followed by another five the, nines. And the greatest seven-digit number is nine, followed by another six nines. Look at the smallest number column. The smallest two-digit number is ten, and it is one followed by one zero. Smallest three-digit number is hundred, and it is one followed by two zeros. Then the smallest four-digit number is thousand, and it is one followed by three zeros. The smallest five-digit number is One followed by four zeros. The smallest six-digit number is one followed by five zeros. So the smallest seven-digit number is one followed by six zeros, and the smallest eight-digit number is one followed by seven zeros. Last class, we learnt about successor and predecessor. When one is added to a number, we get its successor, and when one is subtracted from a number, we get its predecessor. The greatest one-digit number is nine. When one is added to nine, we get ten, and it is the smallest two-digit number. Ten is the successor of nine, or nine is the predecessor of ten. The greatest two-digit number is ninety-nine. Ninety-nine plus one is hundred, which is the smallest three-digit number. Hundred is the successor of ninety-nine, or ninety-nine is the predecessor of hundred, and so on. Now we will learn about number name. The smallest two-digit number is ten. The smallest three-digit number is hundred. The smallest four-digit number is thousand. The smallest five-digit number is ten thousand. The smallest six-digit number is lakh or one lakh. Smallest seven-digit number is ten lakh. The smallest eight-digit number is crore or one crore. Examples: First question: How many tens are there in thousand? Thousand divided by ten will give the number of tens in thousand. Cancel one zero from both numerator and denominator. We get hundred. Hundred tens are there in thousand. Second question: How many hundreds are there in One lakh. One lakh is one followed by five zeros. So one lakh divided by hundred. Hundred has two zeros. So cancel two zeros from both numerator and denominator. And we get thousand. So thousand hundreds are there in. One lakh. Next question: 
how many thousands are there in 1 crore? 1 crore is 1 followed by 7 zeros. So 1 crore divided by 1000. Thousand has three zeros, so cancel three zeros from both numerator and denominator from right. You will get ten thousand. So ten thousand thousands are there in one crore. We will do some more examples. First question there are ten lakh people in a district. What would be the population of 10 such districts? First statement, population of a district, 10 lakh. Ten lakh is 1 followed by 6 zeros. Therefore, population of 10 such districts equals 10 lakh multiplied by 10. Since we are multiplying by 10, insert 1 zero to the right of 10 lakh. So the population of 10 districts is equal to 1 crore. Second question The government spends rupees 2 crores for education in a particular district every month. What would be its expenditure over 10 months? Statements Expenditure for 1 month is equal to rupees 2 crores. Therefore, expenditure for 10 months which is equal to 2 crore multiplied by 10. Two times 10 is 20. So expenditure for 10 months is rupees 20 crore. Third question. 10 lakh candidates write the public exam this year. If each exam center is allotted with 1000 candidates, how many exam centers would be needed? Statements Number of candidates writing the public exam equal to 10 lakh. 10 lakh is 1 followed by 6 zeros. Second statement, number of candidates allotted to each exam center which is equal to 1000 candidates. Therefore, Number of exam centers needed 10 lakh divided by 1000. Cancel three zeros from numerator and denominator, we get 1000. So 1000 centers are needed. Hope you understood today's topic. Try to do the practice problems and check your answers. Subscribe my channel for more videos and press the bell icon for further notifications. Thank you.